What's happening YouTube? How are you doing guys? Today I had planned the 10 times 400 meter track session. Uh, yeah, first I thought, ah, I don't make a video at all. I want to provide value. I want to make it interesting, action, inspire, or motivate and especially value to, to everybody watching and not waste your time anyway. But I thought, okay, actually I did some changes today that are not physical in a sense, but that uh, might still help you. So if you want to stick around and learn something that you could maybe introduce in your own training or not, it's entirely up to you. Uh, you can hang around. If there's one thing I probably did wrong in the last years, that is not stopping. So for me, like most of you guys as well, if you're really passionate about something, let's say triathlon, if you like triathlon, you take three sports, on at the same time you like sports you love sports and motivation is most likely not an issue for you you're a type a kind of character you just go full throttle so for me personally it was always harder to stop than keep going it was always easier to just execute the training stay consistent train three times a day two times a day just keep going and like override any kind of symptoms feelings that you might have so today i want to share something quick that really helped me and it took me years to learn i definitely haven't mastered it yet but something that could help your training, your consistency over time. So today I plan to do the 10 times 400, but I will change that to tomorrow or the day after, or maybe next week, depending how I feel. And changing the training plan, that's something I mentioned in the last video as well. That's something that the best in the world do frequently to adjust and stay consistent. It can help you as well, what I did this week. And it takes a lot of courage and pushing away guilt and the, th and the thought of, are you being lazy or anything like that. Motivation and pushing through is not your issue. Your issue is most likely stopping and adjusting when you should until it's too late that you got sick or injured or anything like that. So one thing that I find key next to all the data that's out there and that I have, the motivation drive to train. That is something that kind of shows your hormonal state, on general your state, your physical state, and it can really show you a lot. As a triathlete, you become kind of the master of overriding your feelings because you train when you're tired and you also have to train when you're tired. In racing, you have to push your kind of everything away that you're feeling and how your body is doing. So that means when you constantly train how to push those things away, it is only natural for us, and especially if you're a type A character, it's only natural for that person to really lose touch with that other side of the spectrum which is basically your body telling you symptoms of like hey here maybe it's time to rest time to take it easy change the session because your body in physiology the whole cocktail mind and body isn't two things that is one thing what i want to come to is if you have more than three or do you have three days of consecutive you're dreading training and normally you know if you're like me you love training i would train 12 hours a day if i could do physiology wise I just want to train, 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 and train. Know that about yourself, that like first instinct kicks in, like, ah, don't be lazy. Come on, keep pushing. I have a training plan. I want to keep that green. I have to justify myself to the coach. So for me, today was the fourth day today that I woke up. I was like, oh, I really cannot be bothered to train. Yes, sometimes there could be things behind it. That's why you shouldn't call or change the system on day one for sure. You shouldn't anyways make decision in an emotional state. You shouldn't change it then. So always start the training session, see how you feel after 20 minutes into the session, easy warm up, get the blood flowing. Then you can find, okay, was it maybe something at work or something emotional that was bothering you that kind of got you into the state. But if you after, for example, 20 minutes into the session, you feel really bad, you're not getting better, then you should probably abort the session or take it easy for the rest of the ride. That's really something that's difficult to decide, but you have to go with that gut feeling of yours and not push it away by being guilty or having your big goals and dreams, you have to have the long-term picture in mind, which is consistency over time. Today, I actually will take a complete rest day, which takes courage. I say courage because for me, it's extremely hard to do. I would just love to keep going, going, going. But if I wouldn't have learned that from the last years that like this keeping going, 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 it did work in the business world uh, and it just gives results there until the point you tip over and you just burn out. But I didn't get there yet. Luckily, but on the physical front, if you just keep going, 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 and you see that with a lot of athletes these days, just keep going, keep training all the time, but the results are not getting better. And that's certainly something I had uh, for the last two years that I trained, trained, trained. I trained two, three times a day. Yes, we looked in the last video, some things were missing in training, but it's more than that. It's obviously the whole cocktail, recovery side, sleep and everything wasn't optimal. So the three day motivation rule is something that can really help. That's something you can try three days in a row. You're dreading training. You cannot be bothered to train. When you start the session, you feel bad. It's probably time for whatever reason. You don't know the reason. It could be under eating, could be under sleeping. The basics, eat, sleep, drink. But it could also be something lingering, like a buck going around that hasn't been 
breaking out and it's just waiting for you to get sick. But if you could take that one rest day, take it easy, might be nothing. Then another simple thing I did and I did today is to actually move a little bit instead of doing the training, just go for a walk, go out in nature, move a bit and see how you feel after that. If you have a half an hour walk and like me today, for example, I had a half an hour walk and normally you should feel like energized from a walk and being outside and like, oh, I want to go for a run now. And that I had that many times as well. Today I felt like just, ah, I'm, I'm tired. I just want to lay and rest. And then I rested for two hours. I already could feel myself getting better. So yeah, those micro decisions and micromanagement is something that is difficult to do, as I said, because you're teaching your body all the time to push, 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 ignore those symptoms. So staying in touch with that, if you are like a really dedicated triathlete, like most of you guys are, they want to get better, want to hit those goals. It's very hard to stay in touch with that side, but many people unfortunately have to run against the wall and kind of have to find out what is actually, what does it mean when you did too much? And I did that already, so I luckily know how that feels. And I think anybody in triathlon almost that's super driven. They unfortunately have to go there. There's no coach, no spouse, nobody that can hold them back. You probably, probably have to go a bit overboard to see, okay, this is how it feels really. Probably for three to six months afterwards, you'll be a bit flat and down. But this is what happens when you don't stop. If you want to see more of this content like this, hit the sub button, follow for along the journey for my second pro season. Will be an exciting one. Ups and downs, we gotta take everything with. We gotta play the cards that we are dealt. We don't deal them, so we just gotta roll with the punches. Keep going. Enjoy the training, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.